Hello and welcome to Paint Shop Pro Basics. Um, today we're going to be covering the materials palette. Uh, just a quick overview, nothing uh, real specific. If you don't have the materials palette open, um, you can just go ahead and hit the F6 key. If you don't know how to open the palette any other way, please view my history palettes uh, tutorial. That goes into more of the specifics. Let's just get on with this. Now, uh, materials are defined as being either solid colors, gradients, or patterns. You can apply a texture to all three of these, but there's a big difference between a texture and a pattern. I'll get into that later. Right over here in this first area, I currently have the Swatches tab selected. This area is where you will select your colors, your uh, swatches can have gradients and patterns, but these other two will be uh, mainly color selection. So you get your swatches, you've got your rainbow color selection, and you've got your frame color selection. I'll go more into those later. You have over here, uh, this little box will turn your colors to black and white. You'll notice you have two colors available to you. The foreground stroke or the background fill. This will automatically set them to black and white for you. This little arrow guy will um, switch the two uh, materials around. So if I click that, this little thing over here is a miniature version of the big one. So that's all that is. It's got the same arrows. Uh, you've got three boxes underneath the big uh, foreground stroke and background fill properties boxes. You have the transparent, which is like turning off a material. You have to have at least one material. So if you turn a material off, the other one has to remain on. And PaintShop Pro will make sure that happens. See, if I turn off the background, you cannot turn off the foreground anymore. So I'll just turn that back on, leave them both on. Next to that is our texture buttons. That will apply a texture to the gradient color or pattern. Then you have this. This is how you choose whether or not it's a color, a gradient, or a pattern. You select that on the little arrow. It will pop up the box here. The black square is the color. This square that goes from white to black is gradient. And this little circle with, uh, well, a pattern in it is for patterns. Very simple. If I go into my swatches and I select the pattern, you'll notice that little dot automatically switches over to whatever it is we have, gradient, color. Okay, back. Uh, last thing, I believe, is the All Tools checkbox. If you uh, deselect All Tools, each tool will have its own material settings. So... Uh, the paintbrush will have a different foreground and background than, say, the uh, chalk tool or the fill tool. They'll each have their own. With it selected, they will all share the exact same material. That's kind of important. Um, if you select inside of the foreground or background boxes, a dialog will pop up allowing you to pick between the colors, the gradients, and the patterns. And applying textures, we'll get into that more specifically later. And I believe that is the basics of the materials palette. It allows you to select the materials that you're going to be painting with or using, however. All right.